Being in Time was published in 1928 by Martin Heidegger and is considered to be, if not the most important work on phenomenology in the 20th century. So what is this book about? Definitely about many things, but here is my reading of it. This work is mainly about the meaning of being or what it means to be. Heidegger does not ask what we are, nor what things in the world are, but given that things are, what it means for them to be. In his investigation, he observes that being can never be understood by itself, but only in relation, being there, being in, being towards. Now, we as human beings do not just come into existence as some kind of Cartesian intellectual agent that understands and acts by itself, but we are thrown, thrown into an already existing world. Being thrown means that we have no influence on where and under which circumstances we come into being. We're simply thrown into the world and perceive ourselves within a constellation of relations to other beings and things that are there. Being there is what Heidegger calls in German Dasein. This is what we are, being there. In being with and towards others, there is thus a relationship of being, from Dasein to Dasein. But it might be said that this relationship is already constitutive for one's own Dasein, which in its own right has an understanding of being and which thus relates itself towards Dasein. The relationship of being which one has towards others would then become a projection of one's own being towards oneself into something else. So far so good. But what does that mean for us? It means that we are brought into a world in which we are in relation with other entities of which we have no initial understanding of. I cannot know what this tree is to me, or what my relation is to a fellow human, at least not by these things themselves. The world presents itself as a manifold of possibilities and impossibilities to me. Comprehending my place as interface between the possibilities and impossibilities of the world I am thrown in constitutes the understanding of me being in the world. However, as said before, there is no way to unravel the meaning of all of this unless put into perspective, namely a timely one. In order to gain an understanding of the relation between us and the possibilities and impossibilities of us being in the world, we must consider death. We must see us living towards death, that we are being in time. Of all possibilities, Death is the most ultimate and inescapable. It is the one and only possibility we can be sure of which also brings us the impossibility of our own existence. It is the source of all fear and anxiety which indicates two things. One, that the future of our possibilities in this world transgresses into the impossibility of existing at all. And second, that if death is inescapable, that it is a necessity to comprehend our own existence as a whole. Out of this painful realization, we are fallen into denial and ignorance by one's behavior. To behave as one does means to turn away from autonomous acts of seizing one's possibilities, but towards mere behavior that mimics a faceless collective. Eating what all eat, working like all do, enjoying what one does. Falling into behavioral patterns as such trade agency and responsibility for safety and comfort. Behaving as everyone does within a system of practices and beliefs allows us to forget about death, because acting on one's own behalf, acting in the sense of one's Dasein, requires death in perspective. It requires an ongoing correspondence between me being there and seizing my possibilities as a project towards death. If I do not live towards death, do not regard myself as being in time towards death, I cannot understand the relation between myself and the possibilities and impossibilities that constitute my existence of me 
as being in the world. Inauthenticity characterizes a kind of being into which Dasein can divert itself and has for the most part always diverted itself, but Dasein does not necessarily and constantly have to divert itself into this kind of being. Because Dasein exists, it determines its own character as the kind of entity it is, and it does so in every case in terms of a possibility which itself is and which it understands.